Welcome back, baseball fans, to the Winter Baseball Classic. Uh, we are in the Northwest bracket. We got a series between Missoula and SeaTac. Don't call them Seattle. That's not Seattle. It's SeaTac. That's Seattle Tacoma. All right. Don't get it confused now. They don't like being called Seattle when you're in SeaTac. It's a Seattle Tacoma, you know, kind of thing happening there. Missoula, Seattle, or oh, sorry, Missoula, SeaTac. Uh, Missoula's won the first three out of four. We're in a game five in SeaTac. Uh, they got to win this game to send it back to Missoula. Our pitchers, Missoula will send Tom Phoebus and SeaTac, Joe Coleman. Looking at the two rosters really quickly, Missoula does not really have a Hall of Famer all-star on it really none that i can see it's amazing that they're up three games to one SeaTac though has a good top four you got joe morgan don kessinger wes parker and ken mcmullen are pretty good the first three are in the summer league mcmullen surprisingly isn't in the summer league yet but he probably will be in the summer league in the coming season probably with this card they also have um uh, rookie Joe Rudy and Ken Anderson weren't very good. And Joe Coleman, of course. So it's a it's a surprise that this seat tack team is down three games to one. So let's get started. John Briggs leads it off. 1-8 walks. Tony Taylor, 69. Base at the left field. Briggs has some wheels. 14 against the May arm. Plus one. One of 15 to go to third, and he does. Runners on the corners for Alex Johnson, sack by the center. Runner at first for Mike Fiore, center. And Merv Retmond, 48, double one and two, single. Runners on the corners, two outs for Buddy Bradford, 66 Ks. Why not? Joe Morgan, 39, third. Kessinger, 54, right. Wes Parker, 58, pops to second. Don Mason, 29, is a walk. Paul Casanova, 1-5, is a 5-4-3 double play. Dick Trzuski, 57, is a K. Yeah. Bottom of two. Kemet Mullen, 2-6 two, grounds are short. Lee May, 5-12 pitcher. Bob Oliver, Bolliver, walk. Clay Dairy Maple, or Dalrymple. Clay Dalrymple, 6-11, first X. Fiore is a 3-E-20. And he boots that one. And with two outs, it's Meterwall. 38 is a single to right. Oliver with two outs. 14, 15, 16 will hold for Ken Henderson. Two four rolls a second. Top of the third. John Briggs, 1 8 is a walk. Let's take a look at some of these guys because they're trying to get into the summer league on their fourth attempt with their 69 cards. Here's John Briggs. Interesting little card. He's got that on base percentage, has the power. You know, he's, he checks some boxes here. He very well could get into the league. Even though he only hit 238, he's got a high on base percentage. B Steeler. Yeah, he might he might get in. But the problem, the the problem is, is the competition. At corner outfield of first base, you really gotta put some big numbers up. I mean if this guy was a you know a middle infielder, it'd be no piece of cake, but too much competition in the outfield. Tony Taylor, 35, center. Alex Johnson, 54, bounces to second. This is Morgan, a 3 24. Uh oh, and he gives up a single. Runs with the corners for Mike Fiore, 2 6. Let's look at this guy. Another example of a guy who just has a lot of competition. He's got a nice on base percentage with this card. He hit 274, a lot of walks. Can hit lefties and righties. What's not to like, really? It's a good card. It's just that it's a first baseman, and you're looking for a real big banger at first base, and this guy is just okay. But uh, it's his fourth and final crack at it, so he might get in the league. In this particular instance, it's a single that scores a run. Alex Johnson will try and run a third with one out, and he does. Runs on the corners for Retman. Single one of 10 is a single, another run scores. Two on, one out for Buddy Bradford. Short X. Kessinger is good. He's a 2-8-21, trying to turn it over play, and he does. So, 
the visiting Missoula team, the surprising Missoula team, has got a 3 nothing lead. Drew Morgan, 66, 1 of 4. Off the Phoebus card, he gets a 4. He lucks into a solo homer, and we got a 3 1 game. Kessinger, 59, second X. This is Don Mason, who's a 2E. <laughs> a 2E41, don't see that very often. And he makes the play. Good range, but when he gets to the ball, then he makes that through to first, and bad things happen. Wes Parker, pitcher E0. And with two outs, McMullen. Second. We go to the fourth. Here is Don Mason, 2 6. Center. Some guy, I'm skipping some of these guys because they're really not very good and it's, they're not even worth considering for the summer league. But Casanova, if they do something special in this game, I'll point, point the card out. Grounded a short, Kessinger, another play. And Trzuski, 37 to K. Bottom of four. Lee May, the, not to be confused with the first baseman, this is Lee May, the outfielder. 35 double one single. Let's look at Lee May. And again, another one of these cards that's on the cusp. He's, you know, corner outfielder again. He can't, doesn't have range, doesn't have an arm, makes errors, doesn't have speed. See hit and runner, 1 of 14 runner. His batting average is pretty good. Got some extra base hits in there. It's a 277 hitter, that's not bad. Um, if there happens to be a shortage of corner outfielders, this guy gets in the league, but again, too much competition for that particular position. Bob Oliver, 39, single to one, is out. Dalrymple, 67, one to 13, lines out. And with two outs, it's George Meterwald. Skies it in the center. Buddy Bradford's a 2E14 in center field, and he boots that ball. Two on, two out in a 3-1 game, and here is Ken Henderson. 2-11, lines of first. Henderson's in the summer leg. If I say this guy's in the summer leg, it means that that card's better than this card. And with that Henderson card that I didn't show you, because it's not worth showing you, it's 225. But in the summer leg, his card, it's like 290. John Briggs, again, 1-7's a walk. B Steeler on base. That's what you're looking for out of a top guy. Leadoff man. 1 8 for Tony Taylor is a walk. 2 on for Alex Johnson. 66 off of Joe Coleman case. Mike Fiore. 38 walks. There we go. Two guys I talked about getting on base. John Briggs and Mike Fiore have been on base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times in through the fifth inning. Retenman, a.k.a. Retman, with a chance to blow this thing wide open. 46, strikes out. And with two outs, Buddy Bradford. Boy, he needs a big hit, Buddy. 48 off the Coleman card is a two-out, two-run single. We got a 5-1 game for the surprising Mountaineers of Missoula. Runners on the corners for Don Mason. Let's take a look at his card anyway. Don Mason, just because he's a 2-E41. <laughs> he's a two -E he, well, Left-handed middle infielder can play all the positions. Is a two or a three at all of them. Has on base and not much else. It doesn't. He's about the same lefties and righties, and it's a 228 batting average. So his only shot is a is a, is a team that doesn't have enough left-handed hitters, and they want a left-handed hitting middle infielder uh, to face. A right-handed pitcher who's weak against lefties. Some some situation like that. That's his only shot. Paul Casanova, 1-9, center. 5-1 Missoula. Tom Phoebus against Joe Morgan, who walks. Kessinger, 59, second X. Here's our boy, Cap Mason, 2-E41. A cheap single off the two at second. That doesn't help his chances getting in the league. Wes Parker, 4-4, third X. This is Tony Taylor at third, who is a 316. Another error. The bases are loaded, and the tie run is Ken McMullen. 410, center X. Can anybody catch the ball? Buddy Bradford's a 2E14 in center field. Another error. So basically, the inning should be over, but nobody's out. So two run score in a 5 3 game. Second and third, playing back for Lee May. Bouncer to second base. Again, our boy Mason's a 2E41, and he makes another error. 
So this is what you get in these winter baseball classic games of scrubs. Innings that just continue for no reason. Uh, five, four outs already, and we're, we need to get outs five, six, and seven to end, get the inning over with. Bob Oliver, there's a single to right. That'll score a run. First and second, still nobody out. Dalrymple, 2-8, single on 18, there's a single. Loaded, still nobody out. Mitterwald, 59, short X. Trzewski's a 2-E36, that's short. And there's a double play, but a run scores. And they take the lead, 6-5, and Ken Henderson grounds the pitcher. What a hideous inning that is. So, Coleman gets off the schneid here. Trzewski bounces the first. John Briggs, 49. Homer, 1-7, fly ball. Oh, you needed that one, Johnny. God, you needed that one to impress the scouts. Buddy missed it and flies out. Two outs for Tony Taylor. Cage. Coleman gets through six. Tom Phoebus, five unearned runs in the fifth inning. Joe Morgan, 59, bouncer to second. Our boy Mason, the 2E41, makes the play. Kessinger, catcher's card. This is Casanova. 2E3 should make the play. Wes Parker, 2E first. We go to the seventh. Coleman's a starter seven. We'll watch him carefully here. Alec Johnson, K's. Mike Fiore, 5'11", left X. Lee Mays, a 4'15". Two base error, that's the tie run. You got Rettmond and Bradford. I think Coleman's going to grit it out. Pitch to him. Rettmond, 47, is a K and with two outs. Buddy Bradford, 67, is a walk. Two on, two outs. Our boy Don Mason, who's had really struggled. Well, actually, he's walked, out, walked, and made a big error. 2-5. Oh, boy, another walk. That loads the bases, doesn't break Coleman, but it's Paul Casanova, who's awful, uh, with the bases loaded and two outs. In the top of the seventh, Coleman is teetering on breaking here. The pitch to Paul Casanova. 69. He gets the hit off of Coleman's car, breaking him. A base at the left field. One run scores. Don Mason. What? We said oh, he's a 1-15 of 15 runner. I didn't notice that before, so that adds to his value. A left-handed hitting middle infielder he can play three positions, has on base walks, I won't call it on base percentage, and a 15 runner. So yeah, that he's gonna run here. Actually, it's a second, third. Oh, it's not Mason running. It's Bradford running. Sorry about that. Buddy Bradford's going to run. He's even better. Bradford's a 16 runner. He's going to run. And he scores. So that's a two out, two run single. Tough break for Coleman. None of those runs are earned either. Mason Rutt goes to third. It's a 7 6 game. And it's Dick Trzewski, a guy who normally would not invite a pitching change. As a matter of fact, we're not going to make a pitching change. And the reason we're not is because Dick Trzewski hits 139. I'll only show the card if he gets on base. It's not worth, you know, 2-4, grounds are short. There you go. All right. Coleman leaves after seven disappointing innings. It's 7-6. Phoebus, one bad inning. Starter, six. Uh, not the greatest of bullpens. We'll leave him in there. Phoebus puts a guy on, we'll, we'll gank him. Ken McMullen, 48, is a single. All right, that'll do it. Six and a batter in a 7-6 game. Don Shaw or Bob Meyer? Let's go with Bob Meyer. I'm not going to show you him because he's a nameless car. Bob Meyer in the seventh. Lee May doesn't hit lefties at all. So we'll go with Rich Rennick. Let's show you Rich Rennick. Because he's trying to get in the league. Oh, he's got some power. So Rich Rennick with the uh, tie and run at first. 39. Sky's the center. Bob Oliver. 38, single one to two, line of short, line of short. And batting for Dalrymple will be a really bad Joe Rudy card that I won't show you either, because he hits 189 with it. And Rudy's better card is already in the summer league. So here comes a really bad Joe Rudy card. 47 is a walk. Two on, two outs for George Mitterwald. 
Mitterwald, 510, bouncer to short. Trezuski, 2 E36, 2 E36, another error. This team has made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so far. Five errors, still leading. Bases loaded, two outs. Put it in the wrong spot. Ken Henderson is the batter. 210, he rolls the first. So there you go. All right, 7 6, eighth inning. Billy, the spaceman. Very young spaceman. We'll call him the space kid. The space kid in the eighth inning. Let's take a look at the space kid as he probably is rookie year or first or second year in the league. He was only a relief pitcher and not a very good one. John Briggs, he's not coming out. He's got on base and power against lefties. John Briggs, 2-8, base hit. See? This has raised the scout's eyes. Look at Johnny Briggs today. Walking a run scored, walking a run scored, walking a run scored, and a single. He's a real spark plug at the top of this lineup of a team who's 3-1. Uh, and one. So there you go, Tony Taylor. 210. Let's look at Tony Taylor's card. He's already in the league, but we'll look at it anyway. Homer 111. Double. That's a two run shot. And Missoula keeps doing what it's doing. Alex Johnson. 2 6. Another double. Mike Fury. He can hit lefties. We saw his card earlier. 2 5. He gets a hit. Base hit the center field. Missoula. They just can't stop it. They're just relentless. Merv Retman. 58's a K. Buddy Bradford. 210 is a K. And with two outs, Don Mason, <laughs> who can hit a little bit against lefties, <laughs> will stay in the game. 39, check it out. Well, you saw the card earlier, but anyway, he just hit a single dot dot against a left handed pitcher, Don Mason, who hit a 228. That is a single with two outs. The scores are on. It's now 10 6. Runners on the corners, Paul Casanova. 310, another base hit to left field. Lee's getting lit up. Missoula just cannot get out. And if Dick Trzuski gets a hit, I'm going to eat my spreadsheet here. Dick Trzuski, I knew he was not going to get a hit. He got a walk. So we'll show you the Trzuski card. He gets a walk to load the bases. If you want a two at short and second, this is your guy. If you want nothing else to go with it. So, yeah, Trzuski, best known as a Detroit Tigers... Uh, base coach here he actually played some baseball and uh yeah he drew a walk he just drew a walk there so they bat around bill lee um yeah we're taking him out it's just getting ridiculous here lindy mcdaniel will come on in the eighth we'll show you lindy his card's already in the league he'll face johnny briggs again Johnny Big Game Briggs, who's been on four times and scored four runs. He's got the bases jacked with two outs. Johnny Briggs, 56, circle out. 11-6. Meyer leaves. Oh, we forgot to do the seventh inning stretch music. The seventh inning stretch music is the Gun Club Fire Glove LP from 1981. There you go. That's your background music for today. The eighth inning begins. Missoula will send Ron What You Talking About Willis. Let's take a look at his card to try and nail down the final six outs of this series. Joe Morgan, 57, ball four. He'll run the second, his run's meaningless. Kessinger, right. Wes Parker, 510, catcher's card. Casanova's pretty good. 2E3. Ball pitch, running goes to third with two outs. For McMullen, 38, single one to 15, is a 20, he lines out. Ninth inning, Tony Taylor again. 1-3 hit by pitch, Alex Johnson, 2-10, single dot, dot. Runners in the corners for Fiore, 57's a K. Runners in the corners, Retman. 1-8 walk, loaded, one out, Buddy Bradford, sack fly to left. This Missoula team is relentless. And Don Mason, that's a walk. Is that an RBI? No, it reloads the bases, though. <laughs> For Casanova, 512, second X. Joe Morgan, can you end this inning? No, Morgan kicks the ball, and they continue the barrage. It's 13-6. Dick Trzuski, his sixth plate appearance. 
In a nine-inning baseball game, probably the first time in his life that ever happened. 55, bounce to second. There it is, 13 to six. Missoula just crushing it. Uh, Ron, what you talking about? Willis will leave after one inning, and they will go, believe it or not, <laughs> they will go to their best player. Bob Locker. Let's take a look at Bob Locker. Yeah, he's their best player, and he's their closer. Um, he's actually in the in the summer league, and uh, he's got a 3.15 ERA. And uh, yeah, he can't even get a save because his team scores so many runs. But with a seven-run lead, he'll come in the bottom of the ninth to finish off the miserable SeaTac team. Rich Rennick. This guy's in a right. Retman's a 2E3 in right field, a cheap double for Rennick. Lolliver or Bob Oliver, depending. K's. Joe Rudy against Reddies, who's awful. 45 left. Now with two outs, it's Mitrewald. 610. Catcher's car. This is Casanova, 2E3. And this game is history. And SeaTac, it's wiped out. Four games to one. Boy, this is kind of an upset. My goodness, just the way it happened too with the 13 runs and look at the walks, it's ridiculous. Congratulations Missoula for wiping out your opponent. Um, McDaniel came in to get the final four outs in the debacle, giving up a hit, two runs, but somehow yeah, they were both, one was earned. He walked. One, two, he walked three and struck out two. The space kid was, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six hits. This is why you need to wait on players. Uh, last we saw Bill Lee, he was pitching in the World Series for the Red Sox, and this is a very young Bill Lee in 1969 getting lit up like a Christmas tree. One, two, three, four, five, six hits, four runs. A walk and two Ks. And Joe Coleman pitched horribly too. Seven hits and eight runs. And only five were earned. Did he really walk nine guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He did. He walked nine. But he struck out eight. One, two, three, four. What a bizarre box score that is. Bob Locker in the ninth inning. Give up a hit and a K. Ron, what you talking about? Willis, walk the guy. Bob Meyer, a hit and a walk. And six good innings for Phoebus. Giving up six hits. Six runs he gave up. Only one was earned. Walk two, didn't strike anybody out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I, I get Coleman only gave up seven runs, maybe? Yes. Coleman gave up seven runs. One, two, three, four, five were earned. There we go. So there it is. 1009, 0109. 13, 14, 6, 8. 13, 12. Who in the heck walks 13 times and strikes out 12 times in a nine inning baseball game? Only this bizarre collection of players can do something like that. John Briggs, Tony Taylor, Alex Johnson, Mike Fiore. I like Fiore and Johnny Briggs now. I'm, I'm, I'm really getting into these cards. I think they... And we know Rettman's in the league. Buddy Bradford has some traction. Casanova can throw. I don't know about Mason and Trzewski. They're kind of sketchy. But uh, liking some of these guys now. 1-0-9, 0-1-0-9, 13-14, 6-8. 1. That was game five. Let's look at the stats for the five game series for both teams. I did not see this coming. I thought Missoula was a horrible looking drafted team. And, uh, but they're not. They came out on fire and just demolished SeaTac. So SeaTac is one and four, hit 247 with a yes 920 ERA. How does that happen?
Missoula, through five games, hit 337 as a club. Mike Fury is 11 for 23. Johnny Briggs <laughs> is 3 for 17 with 10 walks. He's got a 500 on base percentage and a batting average of about a 187. Okay. And with that performance, now you got to look at the year to date of this tournament. The Winter Baseball Classic, look at the batting average in ERA now. We're up to 249. And the ERA, which was once below three, is now up to 382. Uh, the more competition we get. And um, we got two more first round series to play before we get into the uh, winners and losers brackets. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.